Welcome back to TEC Tube. In this edition, we're going to be talking about the Honeywell leak detection sensor and applying it to a Bryant Evolution Carrier Infinity or ICP ion control. We'll be able to use this detector to pick up any water leaks on nearby appliances. So if you've got a leaking water heater, if you've got a sump pump nearby near the furnace, if you've got an ejector pit near the furnace, and you want to put a leak detector sensor on the floor and have it report back to your phone app for your Evolution Infinity or Ion Control, we can do that. So, Honeywell Control, looks like this little guy right here, comes with three things in the box, other than the instruction manual obviously, which we're not gonna read that because you're watching a video. Wiring harness, normally used to wire to the gas valve, but we're gonna wire it to the furnace today. The detector itself, and then the actual water sensor that goes along the floor. It's like a braided rope, so you'll lay this around, in our case, around the water heater or you can lay it near whatever you're trying to detect water on. So let's get started with this wiring project. So in most cases, the water heater is right next to the furnace, which makes it a convenient place for us to go ahead and wire this guy up. In the box came this three wire cable. In our application, we're only gonna use two of them. We're gonna use the two red wires. We don't care about the white. When you look at the instruction manual that came with it, it'll talk about wiring this up to a gas valve, which is fine. You can use it in that application, but we're not doing that in our case. We're using it to send out an alert signal. So we just need the two red wires. On this side, it's labeled two leak detector on both of them. They're not polarity sensitive, so it does not matter. These two guys would go onto the spade connectors on the bottom of the detector here. Also on the bottom of the detector, I'm gonna put my water sensing probe on there. It's right in the bottom right here. All right, I'm gonna do all those later when we're done so I can still have room to work over here. So on my cable, I'm using the two red ones. Those sides went to the leak detector. The other two, sorry, the other two say to control red and to thermal pile red. That's if you're going to a gas valve. We are not. So in our case, I'm actually going to cut those guys off. And I'm going to strip them back and I'm going to terminate them on the furnace board instead. So a little bit different application than what the manual says. If you're reading the manual, We'll throw it up here on the screen for you. There's a section that's how do I connect to a Honeywell Prestige EIM module. This is the same process as that. So that's what we're following on the instructions over here. So we strip these guys back. Now we'll wire them up. Once again, these are not polarity sensitive either because it's just a dumb dry contact in here. I'm going to wire them, if you recall, to red. and G. Now, if my water heater or whatever I was sensing was a little bit further away than this, then I could put a note, my own cable on here and either uh, solder or wire nut a longer cable on there. Mine's gonna be real close. So I'm gonna fish these guys out through the opening here. I'm gonna take this guy and I'll mount him on the side of the cabinet. He has an audible alarm on him as well. So I'd like to be able to hear that. So I don't wanna leave him in the cabinet and not hear him. So I'm gonna fish the wires out through the wall and I'm gonna probably use double-sided foam tape to stick him on the side of the furnace cabinet over here. In regards to my water leak to sensor, he'll be plugged into the side of this guy on the bottom. And then I have this braided rope I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to wrap him around the water heater. Try to circle him if I can, or if I have one of those tray pans in the bottom of my water heater, I can drop him in there. If it's a sump pump, I'm going to put him around the sump pump pit. Right? That way, if water leaks out anywhere on the water heater, this braided rope will get wet, and as he gets wet, that'll go ahead and make contact, which will close this guy's alarm signal. Sound the buzzer, send a signal over here to our, our uh, G, and then send a signal up to my thermostat. So let's go configure the thermostat. Now that we have the detector wired to the furnace, we need to configure the wall control, the ion evolution or infinity wall control to actually do something with that input. So once I'm in the service settings, I'm gonna to go to setup. I'm gonna to go to furnace because our input's on the furnace circuit board. I'm gonna scroll down to G terminal. I'm gonna say, yes, I have that accessory. I can do a bunch of different stuff with this. Check out our other video if you wanna learn about all the things we can do. But today we're gonna to do an alert 
and I'm going to pick a normally closed relay because that's what this device says that it comes with, the, the water detector that I picked. If I picked a different brand of water detector, it might say something different. And I'm going to save that. Now I'm also going to scroll down to G terminal alert label. And by default, it's going to say auxiliary input G alert, which is kind of useless for the homeowner because they don't know what you're doing with this, right? So I'm going to erase that and I'm going to relabel ours as water heater leaking. All right, so now when they get a message, it'll say water heater leaking alert. All right, and then hopefully I know what to do with that. And then in my case, I'm going to save that. And now we can actually go test this guy out. Now that we got everything wired up, the last step in the process is to test it to make sure it actually works. Now I could pull one of the terminals off and just make sure that it alarms that way, but I want to test it with actual water, right? Um, I don't want to you know, make my water heater leak or dump a bunch of water on my floor. But in this case, I'm going to take the actual temp the water probe and I'm going to stick it into a cup of water. And in a minute or so, my detector will start beeping and I'll get an alarm message on my screen. So my detector is beeping, so I would hear that beeping in the basement. In this case, on my evolution stat, infinity or I on stat, it would say water heater leaking alert, which is what I labeled it. Additionally, it would push that alarm message. I'm going to unplug it because it's annoying. Push that alarm message out to my customer via email or test messaging as well. Right, so they would be able to see that. If they weren't home, they would still get that alert. So you can put this water leak detector pretty much anywhere. Um, I can put it next to a water heater, some pump, behind a washing machine, under the kitchen sink. If I wanted to use two or three of these, I could do that. And then I could wire them all back in series. So if any one of them breaks their contact, I would then get an alarm message on my stat and hence emailed to me as well. So hopefully that helps you help some of your customers. Thanks for joining us.